World of Tank Blitzers and hopefully a few future Momrads out there. I'm Littlefinger, sharing a little more knowledge with you. Hopefully you won't get fingered as often. Anyway, I am reviewing the VK4503, which is a German heavy tank, which is on sale right now. Um, let me just show you where that is at. You can go here to the bundles, you can buy it separately, or you can do what I did and uh, go ahead and get this um, Steam Conqueror bundle, which gives you the Panther, uh, which is a tier 8 medium, which will be my next review, the VK4503, which is I'm reviewing here, and the Gross Tractor, which I have completed a review on. Check that one out if you haven't already. You get 10,000 gold and 30 days of premium and 3 million credits to help equip the your these tanks out. So I thought that was an overall good deal. Probably end up buying two more tanks with that uh, 10,000 gold. Anyway, you can see the tank here, the VK4503, has nicely sloped armor in the front and thankfully a thin profile on the turret there. Let's take a look at this. Tank, obviously with a premium, you do not have any options. So, it comes with 1,450 hit points, which is very good. Uh, you will need it because the armor is not so good. 100 millimeters in the front and on the sides, both on the hull and turret. That is uh, pretty much worse in class from what I was checking with the other heavies at tier 7. Clocks in at 65 tons with a 700 horsepower engine, which gives gives you 38 kilometers per hour and 28 and 22 on the traverse and turret traverse. Eight rounds per minute with average penetration of 203 for AP, dealing out 220 hit points of damage. Now, let me just show you real quick how I have it set up. Um, consumables, repair kit, multi-purpose, and adrenaline provisions I am running the improved fuel and the protective kit. I am not running any other rations or anything like that. Ammunition. Um, running here with 18 APCR rounds, you will need that up against some of the tier 8 heavies like the IS-3s and so forth. Uh, equipment, right now I am just running the gun rimmer and the enhanced gun lane drive and the third slot there is empty. I decided to hold on to the 250,000. I probably would have gone with vents, but I'm holding on to that for right now. Um, you can see here, based upon my record, I have fought 17 battles in this and I am at 70% win rate. Let me pull up the spreadsheet and we will do a quick comparison. All right, guys, here's our spreadsheet. You can see I've pulled out a few tanks the VK 30.02D, which is a German medium. Um, primarily because the gun specs were the same on it and then I've also pulled out T29 KV3 and the Black Prince and just want to make sure everyone's aware here that I chose gun of similar size to what's on the VK so for example the T29 and KV3 have a top gun um, that does a little bit more damage so Taking all of that into consideration, hit points here at 1450 is best in class. And like I said before, you look at the other heavies, the armor and turret armor is the worst in class. Um, however, that's made up for a little bit with your speed and traverse speed and turret traverse speed being best in class compared to those other heavies. Also, this tank excels with the actual gun values. So you see here with an AP round, you get an average penetration of 203, which is by far and away much better than the other guns of that um, class. You can see also that you're doing 220 on average damage with an HE round at 270. Um, rate of fire is a little bit slower at 8 than the other um, as far as average, but that's made up for with a little bit more accuracy. So. Overall, you know, this tank, uh, I've really enjoyed it up to now. I just want to pull up Armor Inspector and show you what it looks like. All right, guys, here's our tank, the 4503 in Armor Inspector. You can see here we have minus 8 degrees of gun depression. Now, I am looking at this as though I was in an IS-3, uh, which is obviously a Tier 8 Heavy. 
so which you are often going to find yourself up against you can see there is absolutely nothing I can do to keep the front of this ta tank from being penetrated so make sure that you are uh, side scraping as much as possible and covering up as much of the front of that tank as possible and keeping the side at a very shallow angle here if you go above 20 degrees it starts to turn green and you will get hit on the side so keep that angle rather shallow if we look at a uh, tier 7 medium tank like the T43 here you can see if you are facing straight on you have some green on the front so you want to try to turn your tank to the 22 to about 28 degrees here um, and that is making this tank just about impenetrable except for the turret to a tier 7 medium but alas I know you guys aren't really here for facts and figures so you want to see gameplay so here we are on Fort Despair I am low tier we have a considerable number of heavy heavies so uh, obviously our, our best interest I think is to push to the left down the heavy alley and uh, I'm just making sure that uh, got a couple tanks in front of me I don't want to be the first one um, you never know ambush what you might run into so we have this uh, defender who's turned uh, and got himself uh, in an interesting position I'm not sure why he did that you can see I was able to penetrate him on the first shot there with AP but not on the second shot so I switch over to APCR and now he's making a run for it and uh, we get another shot into him got to be careful here when you're on this side of the heavy alley that you don't have tanks to your to my right um, that could be shooting me so they've got three down here so I'm just gonna go ahead and push you can see AP does not do anything to the IS-6 aim for the middle front of the plate it's about the weakest spot there so I'm gonna go ahead and push up I've already hit adrenaline want to make the most out of these shots get another one in there he is a one shot our IS-3 misses there I uh, know he's got a long reload, and so we're able to take him out. We've got these two heavies cornered here. And I'm not sure what that hit, but I was trying to uh, put an HE shell into the back of the T-32 to see what it would do. Um, there's an awful lot of uh, yellow there. Got a nice shot. Um, but then the second one here only does 72 damage, so I switch back over to, to AP. And uh, now this guy is just about on life support. Um, and I figure I'm, I bounce that shot, and I figure that I got, our guys are going to put him away. So I um, want to go ahead and keep these two tanks from pushing up and... It's amazing that T-32 is still around, but now he has been taken out. Um, you can see that 62 there is firing HE into me. I get tracked. I'm going to try to um, get the uh, face hug on this uh, wall, side scrape off of it. Trying to keep that T-62 out of sight there while I fi finish off the Dracula. And uh, now we've got a hit point advantage on the 62. And we go ahead and finish him off. And um, so you can see this tank. Um, as a heavy, I was able to to brawl it out, do 2,600 damage there. Nice cred credits. Um, even though I did shoot quite a few rounds of APCR, you can see here they had a bunch of premiums. Winter Malinovka, you can see I am tuned up with TD Skip 2, and we are top tier. I like our makeup better going left, hoping that uh, they split apart and leave their heavies up on the hill. So I call for the team to go left, 
Um, however, it looks like they've all stopped at the rocks there and uh, aren't really moving forward. So I did get spotted. Um, wasn't sure from where and uh, then the VK shows up and you can see this tank does not shoot well on the run. So now I just want to push the corner and get control of the corner. Missed that shot on the VK, he manages to get out of the way. But uh, now I know I've got two light tanks here. I'm in a heavy. Um, shouldn't be too much of a problem for me. So we get a nice shot in on the first one there. And uh, they quickly retreat. And, uh, we've got shots coming in from behind them. So we managed to finish off the last one. And now we can push back up into the corner into their spawn one like that again just pushing forward shooting on the run this tank is horrible you really need to stop and and wait for your aim so now we've got a two tank advantage and this Black Prince is headed my way. Get a nice shot into the side of him there. And uh, basically want to make sure that he is... Uh, make sure he was headed this way. I didn't know if he was headed up that other shortcut up the side there. Basically trading shots here is not a good idea. And what I told you there in the armor inspector is I really need to get the front of my tank turned this way. Um, so that he doesn't have as much of a shot on it and he's going to bounce off the side like he did there. So, um, use that to your advantage as far as angling your tank. Try to keep the front pushed up against you know hard objects. And you can see I really haven't had much problem at all with penetration. I haven't had to use any APCR, even on this IS coming at me. You know, assume I can reload fast enough, and uh, just as I take a shot, the Hellcat finishes him off. So, fairly good damage. I think that was uh, 2300 damage in this game. Only one kill, but you can see there 50,000 credits which I think is um, pretty good. So the next game is on Copperfield. You can see that I'm still platooned up and I am the low tier here. like to push around to the right. Uh, there's some good spots to get hull down, especially with a tank with uh, fairly decent gun depression. They have not pushed the hill so I'm gonna go ahead and move on into their spawn area and the T29 is spotted and it's about this time that uh, their team starts popping up on the other side of the map they have flanked all the way around and you can see that my platoon mate there is uh, getting harassed on the mini map by uh, three other tanks so not sure where the rest of their team is, but we need to just go ahead and push on the T29. The IS-3 pops up on the map there. And uh, one of the downsides to this tank is shooting on the run. Perhaps I will invest in the vents and that might help. But I am now going to focus on this IS-3. And I am aware of the fact that I'm pushing around away from my rest of the team but I feel that these guys here have isolated themselves from the rest of the team and therefore are a weaker and easier target for me and you can see this gun does aim quite nicely once you give it the time uh, and you are stationary so IS-3 is going to turn around I'm going to switch over to APCR just to make sure that the shot goes in. And, uh, 
as I'm pulling up, he gets a shot in on me, and the ISU pops up on my minimap, and wasn't aware what gun he had, but uh, certainly don't want to deal with an ISU face on. So I'm just going to back up. He gets a shot into me. It only does about 400 damage, so he does not have the top gun. Um, but uh, a little bit frustrating with bouncing shots off of his front. And I see that he drops down into the floor of the valley there, and he is behind the building. So I'm going to push back up and try to get rid of this ISU, who looks like he's now pushed over by those gas tanks. Trying to go as far as I can here, and uh, IS-3 has exposed himself, and I'm able to finish him off. I'm going to move back to AP, and be very cautious with this ISU, because I'm not exactly sure which direction he is aiming. But um, this is fairly decent, good textbook on the ISU here. Aim right at the tracks, and he repairs it. And I reload and aim for the tracks again, and he fixes it one more time. I get another shot in and damage his engine. Now he has no more repair kits and uh, cannot turn fast enough to get a shot on me. The SP-1C has moved in, gotten two shots, he's reloading, and I'm able to finish him off. So... We got three kills in this game, unfortunately. My pl platoon mate held, uh, or fortunately for me, he held uh, the flank long enough that I was able to uh, be top damage on the team. And uh, even made some good credits, you can see, even with uh, quite a few rounds of APCR. The next game here is on Vineyards. Again, bottom tier. And uh, I think this might have been the first game that I played with my platoon mate after he had purchased the, uh, the 4503. So uh, told him there that he would need the APCR on the IS-3s. Which, um, you know, obviously that depends on situation and angles. You can penetrate them, obviously, from the side and back. And if you've got a nice, good shot on the front as well but uh, sometimes it's better just to be safe than sorry. So the team is pushing into the city here. I'm gonna move on up to the front of the, front of the city, hoping to get some sh sight on some enemies gonna hide behind this bush here and uh, see the RU pop his head up but uh, can't aim in time to get that shot off so now I know they're over there I'm gonna reload and I am going to uh, side scrape off of this building you know like I showed you on armor inspector you want to make sure that that front of the tank is tucked away behind the building as best you can keeping the rest of your tank at a very shallow angle. They haven't come up that way, so I figure they're all going around to the flank through our spawn area. And sure enough, here they come. You can see here is fairly nice aim on the turret there. It's always nice to have a waffle tractor right in front of you that uh, dishes out some serious damage and you watch the guys just drop off like that. But uh, anyway, they are pushing hard on the right so I'm gonna go in and help looks like everyone was ignoring the comment there I guess he was AFK so no point wasting shots on him 
focus on the ice three. I get shot from behind, so I want to make sure I get around this rock here and get myself into cover. You can see here with the IS-3 at the right angle on the front there, I'm able to penetrate him, um, but want to make sure I get the kill. And, uh, then I should have switched back to AP, but go ahead and finish off so the comment. So um, now T-29 is on the map. He has, uh, I guess, just sat there and watched his team die. So I'm going to go up here and try to get him at least spotted, if nothing else. And you can see all of the red on that very strong turret of his. He drops a shot into me, but um, at this point I'm not worried about my hit points. We've got numbers just going in for damage at this point. bounce there from the M10. Get another shot in. And uh, team finishes him off. So did just over 2,000 damage there, 40,000 credits. All right, so the last battle I want to show you here is on Winter Malinovka, and you can see they've got a Grim Platoon, and they are top tier. So you can rest assured that this is going to be a tough battle to win. And because of that, I'm going to be overly cautious in this game, um, trying to conserve hit points for the end of the game. And I will let uh, some of these tanks with some better armor, like the low to my right here, push up to the windmill. And I'm going to stay back here. So we're starting to get some spots. Which allows me to crest over this hill and uh, get a couple shots in. Again, being as conservative as I can, trying not to get spotted. You can see this IS is uh, trying to circle one of our guys who was taken out. I get two shots into him. And unfortunately missed that shot on the SU. Now, my platoon mate has uh, gone the short flank through the lake. And uh, I'm trying to assess the situation here. Looks like three guys are rushing in on him. By the time I get there, he's going to be dead anyway. So the best bet is to push to the right, help my team with the remaining guys here and those three guys are now down in the lake all by themselves with uh, nobody to shoot so we should be able to clear this side which we end up doing and uh, didn't really help out at all anyway but um, anyway now we are grouped together and we can fan out a little bit and make sure that we get shots on their remaining tanks can see the SU here. Get a shot into him. He bounces it off of me. So, kind of a fortunate. I'm getting shot by the Centurion to my right. The IS-6 is going down there to um, keep him from uh, getting any more shots onto me. So, I'm going to move in on this Panther. Get a nice shot in there. And uh, we'll get one more here. And he's going to get taken out. So now we've got a nice safe advantage. And, uh, 
probably been, should have been patient here and stopped, aimed, and maybe got the kill. I just want to make sure I'm in there helping out as best I can, which I want to do as close as possible. But uh, obviously, as a good player, he knows I'm coming and he circles around. But uh, it's too late, and we get a very nice victory from uh, a good platoon. So to wrap this up, my thoughts on the tank are as follows. It uh, does not have the true armor of a heavy tank, so I would drive it more like a medium, but being very conservative with your hit points at the beginning of the game and making sure you are using tactics um, like side scraping works real well. Getting hull down in this tank does not, um, and also this tank does not shoot very well on the move, so... Make sure that you are in a position where you can aim and retreat while you reload. So I think this will be a tank that I pull out um, and run, you know, anytime there's a, a 2x or 3x or 5x um, on it. And uh, I think I'm going to have fun with it. So as always, guys, stay safe out there. Have fun. Get educated. Not fingered. Little finger out.